welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the 105 Lef H18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SBP G that most people call a Lefty, a leaf blower, we call Fifi La Pew Pew. And it's located on the northeast spawn of Arctic region, otherwise known as Manor Home Line, under the command of Guji72. Now we haven't seen Guji in action for a while. But here he is again. Now he's using premium consumables that will boost the uh, reload time. He's actually got the reload time down to 7.51 seconds. It's a 105 millimeter light field howitzer, so it's got no stun. But what it does have is incredible accuracy and the ability to dial in very, very quickly, almost as quickly as you reload. So if you track a target, you can normally keep it tracked for quite some time. Now you can see one mark of excellence already on his barrel. He's found a firing position and he's raising his gun to look at the enemy. Now as you know we've recently installed the Klaus mod so if he gets a near miss you will hear Klaus come up. Now he kindly created um, the mod with Detronics and Zoe Balls and he recorded the sound files for us. But it's really funny actually hearing Klaus in a game because of course we, most of us, in fact nearly all of us I suppose, are Klaus Kellerman watchers. We watch his videos because he's a great entertainer and uh, so it's nice actually to hear him in battle. Stug 3G, rounds out. That was Klaus. Yep, it was a near miss. Rounds out again. Oh, he backs up. Yeah, he knows if he's got RT on him, he needs to change position to avoid getting hit. But he's just backed up too little. And he's now out of the game. Direct hit, blind hit. And he's got his first kill. Next target, Hellcat. Tier 6 American turreted tank destroyer. He's stationary. Gucci's dialing in. Before he can shoot, the Hellcat's killed. That would have been a relatively easy kill for him because he was low on hit points. But over towards the north, the north pass, we've got an M4A1 who's trying to get behind our guys. We've got a budgie, an M4A3E2, the Sherman Jumbo, and an M4A1. So it looks like uh, Gucci is going to be very difficult, uh, very busy trying to take these guys out. Fires the first one at the budgie. That was close. Going for the P43 Biz or no? Oh, well, he tried and he hit. He hit the P43 Biz, but our guys are having to pull back because they're pushing. He fires a snapshot in, gets the same guy again with a direct hit. There's the jumbo. Can he hit the budgie? Yep. Nice hit. Go for the Sherman Jumbo, because that's probably the one with the worst armor. But the Budgie's technically got a good gun. He's got that guy. So his second kill. Going for the M4A1, low on hit points, rounds out, and... Yes! Three kills. We lose our Sherman Jumbo to their Sherman Jumbo. We've actually, it was the P43 Biz who got the kill. But their Sherman Jumbo just got tracked, so he's burned his repair kit. He fires a blind shot in on the P-43, but we've got nobody except a Gorilla and a Box Tank between us and the enemy now. So, Guji's decided he's going to have to move. I'd head south. Yep, he's doing the right thing. Go into this wooded area. There's a set of trees here. The Box Tank will hold them just long enough so he can get into a firing position and hopefully... Some of our teammates will come back from the south pass where they're victorious and assist that box tank to hold the cap. Okay, this should be good enough. Trees in the way, bushes in the way. Yep, good. Okay, he's lined up. First target, VK-3001. Takes a huge hit from the box tank's 13 centimeter gun. Fires the round in, hits the Sherman Jumbo, 124. Yeah, that box tank is taking a hammering. Rounds out the Sherman Jumbo. Another direct hit. 
He's gone out of the game, but the box tank hit him. Difficult shot on the VK. He gets it for 110. Now, these shells will do 410 alpha if they can penetrate the armor. And he's got a kill. He killed the VK-3001H. So he's now up to four kills. And they've cleared the North Pass, which means now there's only four enemies remaining. A Valiant, a P-43 Biz, who was in the North Pass. And their RTs, the M41 HMC and the Fifi. And the M41 just got a kill on one of our teammates. Took out our VK-301H. He's looking for a solution on the Valiant at the moment. He can't get it. It's hiding behind that rock. Very difficult to get a shot. Now the P-43 Biz was badly damaged. He was just around the corner somewhere in Grid Square A6, we think, because he pushed forward after he was last seen. Oh, he's actually gone back to his own cap area. You can see him there. He's on the other side of the battlefield now, so he pulled back. You can see our gorilla was just firing at him. Come on, Gucci. That P-43 has got very low hit points, thanks to you. And if we can get another shot on him, he's carefully dialed in on target. Fully dialed in now. Rounds out. Good shot. Come on. Yes! Beautiful. Five kills. Now, one more and he's got a top gun. It would be nice if it was the Valiant. We know where he is. He's up on the duck. Now, if you wonder why we call it the duck, look at the minimap. It looks like a duck. It really does. Um, whilst outside looks like a mouse or a cat. I suppose you could say at a, at a pinch it's a cat. Cat and duck. Okay, if only one of the enemy comes into sight. He needs to get that kill to get his top gun. I think he's going to move a bit closer. The thing about the FIFA is it won't fire over the entire range of the battlefield unless you're... Arty is right in the center of the battlefield then you can hit every point of the map but if you're at one edge of the map you can only shoot about well four fifths of the way over to the other side and oh here comes the Katyusha if only we had those in the battle those would make life very interesting for the tanks if all of a sudden they see those coming at them I think that will be something for the future if Wargaming ever gets around to uh bringing out a Katayusha premium project. I think a lot of the tank drivers wouldn't like it, but it would bring a great deal of realism to the game. There's the enemy Fifi. He's been spotted. Oh, and he's just been killed by our gorilla, which means now that if Guji's going to get his stop gun, he needs to kill either the Valiant or the M41 HMC. He fires at the Valiant, misses with his first shot there. He doesn't want to come out from behind the rock, but he has to. He's going to have to get closer. If he gets in sight of that Valiant, the Valiant might try to shoot at him. And there's the enemy artist in sight, the M41 HMC. But he's actually trying to get an open shot on the Valiant. The M41 has only got 41 hit points left. He's ignoring it, letting the AMX CLC get him. And yep, the AMX has killed him, but the Valiant's had to back up and he's now within Guji's sights. But he's firing short at the moment. The shells are just landing short of the Valiant. The Valiant's backing up to protect himself from the box tank. Come on, Guji, you can do it. Lines up the shot. Puts the reticule over the target. Fires. Yes! Right up his posterior. 390 hit points. Top gun and wins the game. Excellent shot. That was a good game. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, first class tanker for Guji72 in the 105FH18B2. I think he's had an ace tanker before in this vehicle. I'm pretty sure he has. He's also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got six in this one. And he got a top gun for getting at least six kills. He got six exactly. 
If we look at the team score, we can see that, well, he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the enemy M6, who got 1,652 hit points. But Gucci came a close second with 1,560. And the third place was the enemy Fifi with 1,493. And when it came to kills, though, it's Gucci who's got the top one with six kills for him. Three kills for the M6, two kills for the P43Biz and the Valiant and our M6 and our BK301H. And when it came to base XP, it's Gucci. Yep, 918 base for him. 757 goes to the BK301H and 651 goes to the box tank. He fired 25 rounds in the game, got 12 direct hits, 2 penetration and 12 splash. Damage of 1,560 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged 7 of the enemy, killed 6, and did 240 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium account, he, on a free play account rather, not a premium, he earned 27,652 credits, got 40,000 credits from personal missions payout, and after ammunition resupply and the ammo's really cheap, he still took away a profit of 64,452 credits for a tier 5 RT. 918 base XP, times 2 for the first victory, 367 for this being a premium vehicle, one of only two premium RTs in the game, which is shocking considering there are so many other premiums for so many other tank classes. What are you doing, Wargaming? You're neglecting the RT fraternity. You could be making a fortune out of them if you were selling more premium RT, hint, hint. And a total of 2,203 experience points altogether for Gucci. Yes, I had to put that in. Most of the members would love to have more premium RT. And we've actually sent some ideas to Wargaming in terms of which RT they could actually include. There's the uh, M52, which is an American uh, RT, which they built more of than they built the M44. Would you believe it? And uh, that's got a 105mm gun and it looks very much like a cross between the M44 and an M53, M55. And then there's the original SU-122, which basically looks very much like a, an S-85 um, with the 122mm gun, but it's an arty. And of course the other one, the third one we came up with, um, which was for the, uh, which class it wasn't the French... It was the Germans, yes, it was the Hetzer RT, yes. They actually made an RT out of a Hetzer. They opened up the top, put an, an, the uh, um, same gun that was in the Gorilla, the same 15cm uh, howitzer, in the centre of the vehicle, almost like a mortar firing up out of the top of the Hetzer. And, of course, the Germans, ha um, Wargaming has the Hetzer model already in the game. So all it would be a case is of just slightly redesigning the model and turning that into a premium German RT. It'd be move about the same speed as the standard Hetzer. It'd have the same RT characteristics as the Griller, but of course it might have a slightly better fire rate, slightly better DPM, and yeah, that would be a viable RT for the game, a viable premium RT, which Wargaming could sell for a, quite a profit. Anyway, that's me uh, wrapping on. Nice game by Guji, well done. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Pass news of our channel on to other people. Let other people know that we exist. And uh, if you enjoyed this replay, we've done our job properly. And thanks for watching.